Let's get into some stories that are trending right now on social media. Are you ready, Jackie? <laughs> it's time for <laughs> Hot, Hot topics. topics. Yes, so we did the switching camera know, thing. It's my favorite. Okay, so parts of Manhattan were dark Saturday night because of widespread power outages. Yes. Did you see about this? At its peak, more than 73,000 uh, Co Con Edison consumers lost power. The utility CEO announced all power was restored shortly before midnight Eastern time. The outage had a widespread impact on the subway system. The city's fire department responded to numerous uh, transformer fires and responded to people trapped in subway cars and elevators. Several Broadway shows and off-Broadway shows canceled. Yeah, this one right here. This is uh, J Lo's performance got canceled. Got and canceled. Then these yeah. guys right here, they just took to the streets to perform. It was like, forget it. There's a blackout. We're not going to let that stop us. Right. But they're like jamming. I love it. Yeah, I do too. Uh, New York City Mayor said it was. It appears that the outage was a result of a mechanical problem uh, with the power grid. The outage, this is interesting, comes 42 years to the day of a massive blackout that impacted much of New York City. Oh. And that day is not very lucky for New York City. Occasionally, true, true. Occasionally not good. But I did see a lot of videos. Again, people just kind of making the most right. out of it. Yes. I did see Jennifer Lopez I on social too. media, and she yeah. was like, "Man, I'm so devastated and heartbroken that she had to cancel." But I believe they rescheduled for today. Yeah, I think so. So if you were trying to see her in New York, you can see her again. I believe today. So uh, making the most out of that blackout, but. I didn't hear about any injuries or anything happening. Uh, it seems like everybody was safe. Yeah, so that's good. Yeah. All right, we're British royals. Harry and Meghan met American entertainment royalty, Beyonce and Jay-Z, over course. the weekend, of course, because The Lion King had their UK premiere over the weekend. Mm -hmm. This video blew up over the weekend. Oh, my gosh. I can only imagine that uh, Beyonce and Meghan are talking about swapping out baby <laughs> stories. Um, and so Jay-Z is just, like, standing there, like, oh, my gosh, this is... Pretty cool. He's sitting there looking cool, too. He Look is sitting his... there looking pretty cool. And then <laughs> Harry comes over, and they're just kind of exchanging stories, pleasantries, all the things happening. But, of course, everybody's super excited about The Lion King, which opens on Friday. I cannot yeah, it's gonna be great. wait. I'm so excited to talk about it in our Malcolm Movie Minute um, this week. Yeah, very exciting. Yep. Uh, one more story for you. Beatles fans have been waiting a long time for this one. <gasps> yes. That's right. Paul McCartney <laughs> and Ringo Starr, they reunited on stage Saturday night at Dodger Stadium. The big surprise happened near the end of McCartney's concert when he announced he had a special guest, and then Ringo Starr <laughs> joined him on stage. Ringo played the drums for two songs, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band and nice. then Helter Skelter, and then he threw his sticks into the audience. As Starr left the stage, McCartney reportedly chanted Starr's signature catchphrase, Peace and love. Aww, so very, very nice. exciting. Yeah. Love, love that. 